Hello, everybody, and today we will be t tearing down this cheaply made three outlet power tap. And before you ask, no, it won't be plugged in. Just showing you the thing works. And to prove th to you that it's plugged into only the trusty power supply. We will be hacking it, too. But let me get out my trusty, trusty screwdriver. screwdriver. If I can't get the screws out on camera, I'll do it off camera. But I don't want this to be an extremely long video. Do too. Just because my computer's up right in back and I got the screws out. This is what it looks like on the inside. Not much to it. It's missing its ground, so it doesn't matter. But there wasn't much to this thing. Just thought I'd show you the inside of it. Make sure there's nothing touching before I close it up. Okay. Put the screws in. Put the screws in. If I can't get these in right now, I will do it off camera. I'll, all right, I'll be right back. I'm just going to screw right, it back and I put the screws back in this thing. Now, let's hope it doesn't explode when I plug it in and turn, some, turn it on. Look at that. It still works. And I'm not getting electrocuted when I touch it. Only if I shove my finger in there. Which is the hot side. Thanks for watching and I'll see ya. Hello everybody and today I will be op- Hey, my video is done. My computer just told me. We will be opening up this generic power bar. I would open this one but no screws on it. This is probably going to be the only video that's going to have my name in it because of that power t bar over there. Holy crap, this is a long screw. No, that's what she said jokes. Holy crap, this is, lo this is a long screw. Seriously, look at it. It's almost as long as the ground. Screw number one, I'll right, just do the rest all of the screws out. And I don't think this thing's gonna come apart nicely. Well, wow, this thing is not cheaply made. Look, I am using a strong amount of force. And you can see what it's doing. It does not want to come out. I got the one side out. Let's get to the other side. Perfect. Uh-oh. Oh. There's the hot side, the neutral side. I do not know how this goes back in. Oh, there we go. There's no hot to grounds. In fact, I know I just made it really unsafe. But, here we, there you go. I'm going to get this thing put back together, and then we'll do a test on it. Oops, forgot to turn the camera off. You know what, you guys can watch me put these last two in. It's not hard at all.
I probably won't ever use this thing for low voltage. I'll probably only use this thing for low voltage use now. Get this back together. I'll even put the screws back in on camera. No sneak peek, so new videos coming up, but like for the next week or two, I believe. Or until I get back to my grandpa's house. Whenever I go there next, I'll have a high voltage video coming out and a sound system update. You'll like it. I worked hard on my sound system. in a garage and it's quite messy but the way the wires are around is okay there's a fly in my room this is getting to be quite the long video if, when I post this video and you hear two hello everybody's it's just cuz I'm putting these all three of these videos together as one because I don't have time to upload all three videos at once just a second pull this out put it on the top one plug that in the trusty power supply Put that into this side of the trusty power supply. Plug a device in. Turn it on. Check all the plugs. Get out the trusty multimeter. Set to 250. Gem my probes in there. There is voltage. Perfect. This, now we're going to tear on this perfectly working woods power strip. And it is plugged into the trusty power supply, like always. No cheating. Let's close this off. Ouch, hot. Let's see how cheaply or good or how good this thing is made. I don't even know if any of the contacts are burnt because this thing used to power our water, our old leaky water cooler that we're throwing out. This thing was used in the kitchen a lot by a coffee pot too. They also ran a, one of those sensi warmers. Last screw. It's actually really good. I'll just grab the trusty base. Now I can plug things in from this side. Now I'm not going to leave it like this. But. When you plug something in, basically it goes into these two holes there. Okay, let's get this thing back together. 
because I do want to use this thing again. It still has its ground. That might have to come off one day. If I ever use it with my mod, that's got to come off. Or else I'll bl be blowing the fuse every time. Every time I try to play with my mod, it'll 2,000 volts will go right straight to ground and fry the circuit breaker. And I don't want to fry anything. And yet, maybe I won't fry anything. Never fried the microwave when I played the microwave before I took it apart. I would have ripped the lot and all the guts out of it. Might have to get another one and do a video on me tearing it apart. We'll just get all screwed back in. It's not a fun, not a fun job putting screws back in. If you hear any background noise or anything, it's from the neighbors. I mean, not the neighbors, the, we have company. I'm sorry if, if you hear anything, copyright, don't copyright this. It's not my fault. I don't have my door shut or anything. I'm just doing this as it happens. This is already getting quite long. And I'm having a hard time getting the screw in and I gotta keep talking because um, there was some music on TV and out in the living room. And I don't wanna get copyright for it. So if you hear anything like screaming or anything, it's just coming from out in the living room. Here's my trusty power supply, which we'll be opening. It's got six screws, just like the last item I just opened. These are all going to be together. There's only two Hello Everybody's in this video. And I am not stealing that from UXW Bill or Parrot175. If he still does that in his videos, I don't know. I've been too busy making videos to watch any other people's videos. Because I've been up sometime, some nights up to 1 a.m. And I'm always tired in the morning. That's not much at all. At least I know what it looks like on the inside. Put the cover back on. I'm going to be making a central vac system one of these days. And guess what? I'll be using the, the trusty power supply. Also, at Christmas time, Christmas 2015, I used it outside to run the Christmas lights. But if I do a central vac system, it'll probably be used out in the garage or left outside a lot with us. Because it'll be just hooked onto a switched outlet. And I'll just tape it up or something to prevent water from going in there. I think it's actually, I'm surprised it wasn't full of dirt. Because I piled dirt during the winter, I piled dirt and snow on top of it. And it got buried. Probably wasn't my smartest idea to use a two prong extension cord to run it all with an adapter called um, uh, this guy here. It is the lights on that I just built, that I just tore apart too in my video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see ya!